In this video, we'll go over the basics of identity and access in Zadara Compute. The account is the top level and represents a separated tenant within the cloud. Each account can set up a LDAP provider for authentication, they can enforce MFA, and they can block admin access. Remember, if you do this, Zadara will be unable to reset passwords for you, and you may need to toggle this off if you need support. Along the bottom, you can see the projects. Every account has one or more projects. Projects represent the actual container within which virtual resources will be created. Groups and users are assigned different permissions on the projects to control what users can access and modify. Groups can be created manually or imported from your identity provider. The same is true for users. As an account admin, you can click on a user or group and select Manage Permissions to view and modify the permissions of that group or user. Permissions can be added on multiple projects. This particular user has permissions within the Example VPC project, but from the dropdown we could select one of the other projects in this account and provide certain permissions on that particular project. You'll notice that the permissions for each project includes a role as well as specific policies for AWS and SIMP API access. For more details on the AWS and SIMP API policies, we can visit the corresponding pages, one for SIMP API and one for AWS API. Both of these work the same way. They will show you a list of all of the available policies, including a description of what access is given and a count of how many resources are using the policy. If we go back to accounts, we can look at the limits. Limits can be set by the MSP admin these ones cannot be changed by any user within the account, but the account admin can add additional limits as needed. These limits will be account-wide, and if any user tries to create a resource that would go over one of these limits, an error will be thrown and the resource will not be created. Limits can also be set at the project level. Two more things we'll discuss in this video are key pairs and access keys. Key pairs can be found under the compute menu. These are SSH keys that are used for spinning up and accessing cloud images. You can create a new key pair by clicking Create, and from here you can either generate one in the system or upload your own. If you generate a key, remember to save the private key as you will not be able to obtain it again later. Access keys can be found under the My Account Service page. From here you can create a set of access keys that will inherit the permissions of your user and group. Just like with the key pairs, remember to save the secret key as you will not be able to download it again later. If you need more detail or more assistance, remember to use the question mark menu where you can find the documentation and a link to the support center. You'll also find the handy API Explorer, which can be used with your new access keys to view and explore the APIs of the cloud.